Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this uh, example we have a quadratic in the standard form and we are asked to find the vertex and intercept to sketch the graph first. So for finding the vertex we're going to need this part x equal negative b over 2a and in this case we have negative b is 4 and a is 2, so we end up here with negative 1, right? Because 2 times 2 is 4, and negative 4 over 4 is negative 1. For finding the y coordinate of the vertex, we're going to take this negative 1 and we're going to plug it in. We're going to have 2 times negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 minus 7. Now the 2 times 1 here, right? 2 times 1 plus 4 times negative 1 minus 7. So that will be 2 minus 4 minus 7. So that will be negative 2 minus 7, negative 9. So the vertex is negative 1, negative 9. Negative 1, negative 9. So now we need to find the intercept. For that is I'm going to find the special intercept, which is the y intercept, which can be found by making x equal 0. So in this case, f of 0 will be what? 2 times 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 7. That will be negative 7. So that will be 0 and negative 7. Having these two uh, points, we have enough for graphing the this quadratics, which you'll see it here, and I'm going to erase the mat so you can see better. There you go. These two points, very good in, and good enough to sketch the graph. And you see here, we can reflect it over the axis of symmetry and get the other point. Uh, so uh, very, very easy to graph. Now we can go to the last part, which we are asked to determine the domain and the range. The domain for all the quadratics is any real number. There you go. Any, any real number. The range is the one that you need to be careful with because the range is this guy, right? The range is going to be any value greater or equal negative 9. That is the interval notation. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.